Hello, guys, and welcome to Saturday Night, our quarantine show here at beautiful Behind the Bunker Studios. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you guys want to be a part of this show, all you got to do is click the link that's in the description right there, ladies and gentlemen, and you, you too can be a part of this show. All you have to do is put your first and last name in so we know who you are, and uh, we'll get you in here. No ticket price today. It's uh, buy one, you get it for free. So Gavin's here with us tonight, and Joe from Flag Artist Paintball. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well myself, Ma Todd. Thank you so much for throwing for both at the Just same call time. me Ma. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Ma. Um, yeah, Ma. Ma. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. It is wonderful to be here. It is a Saturday show, the quarantine show. And as the world opens up, so are we. Um, so you may have some revelations from my heart about you all. But yeah. I want you to hit like and share and start a watch party if you can. Uh, because this is your show, so make sure you zoom in if you can. Yeah. And yeah, just use your first and last name, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to zoom in. That would be uh, super great. Uh, what about you, Joe? How are you feeling after first day of paintball ever this year? I'm. That's not the first day at the outdoor. We had Red Dawn, and then we. Oh, then, that's true. Then our, then carpets, then our carpets were pulled out from underneath us, <laughs> rolled up, tucked away, and put in a pandemic storage locker. But they came out today. We rolled out the um, the mulch carpet for everyone to stand on, and it was a pretty successful day. We had a morning and an afternoon session. I dated a girl with had, a mulch carpet. We with, rolled out the mulch carpet. A uh, whole mulch, <laughs> yeah, we wonder, man. a lot. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the look. Um, so we rolled out the carpet. People played all day. Some played morning, some played afternoon. It was a pretty successful day. The weather was stellar. Paint shot great. Everyone had a good time. Refs kept everything moving. And I, I think people were genuinely pretty happy. Our, our local region... Um, is a little stricter than than other regions and we're sort of mandated to wear everyone to wear a non-surgical mask balaclava bandana or something well in the staging area when you go on the playing field of course you don't have to wear it so it's a it's a little different um some places more of a free-for-all more florida-like ours are ours is a little more um we got to do what we got to do but we're open and people shot paint had fun got air and said pew pew so can't ask for more yeah yeah Hey, nice to see Charles Holton in the live chat. Guys, if you want to be a part of the show, all you have to do is uh, click that link and uh, you guys can join us in there as well. Um, uh, Justin Smith says, guys, I have a problem. I'm looking at a new gun, looking at the Shocker XLS or the Eclipse Geo. I don't think that's a problem. I think you need both. They both are slightly different. (laughs) And I think uh, you can't just have one anyways. You can't just have one. Matt, Matt, our producer, was out at the field today, and he brought two guns, and he uh, he had to use both. You never know when one's going to go down, and uh, yeah, you might as well you might as well get both. Um, Charles Holton says he can't join the show because his mom says he can't have Zoom. <laughs> well, tell her tell her you won't go on Minecraft. Um, yeah, there you go. So yeah, we uh, we were opening our field for the very first time this year since uh, the pandemic started and uh, great day. Everybody participated in social distancing to the best of their memory and um, people wore masks and facial things and everybody for the most part did everything they needed to do. And we we appreciate it very much. Um, But what a weird state of affairs at the outdoor. It just didn't, it was nice to be out. But it was just weird. You know what I mean? And then, you know, I look over and I see Joe spritzing sanitizer on tables after people leave. And it's just it's just a whole new world. Like, you know what, Todd? The only thing you can really compare to is that we're in a pandemic. That's really the only way you can compare. But, you know, here's a couple of notes on the Facebook page. I did a little video. Lots of shares. Jason Miller, thanks. Thanks to you and your team. It was a great day. Another fellow said, had a great day today. You guys handled the situation perfectly. Thanks again for having us. Like, those are fantastic kudos yeah. right off the Facebook page. Lots of smiles. People were really genuinely happy to be out. And I don't think they were really bothered by the fact that you had to wear a mask in the staging area. I don't think people people were, you know, just keen. And most, most of the people did not have their tinfoil hats on and about the pandemic because it is actually a thing. So... Yeah. There you go. Kudos to everyone, and thanks yeah. for coming out. And we'll be open next weekend. 
for more paintball and Tuesday nights will start up soon for those that need an additional three day fix like young Josh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Neb Nella in the live chat wants to know uh, or says, I bet Matt's auto mag didn't go down. No, it did not. But his other one did. Uh, Lisa Weber says she's grilling on the back porch. Happy to hear that you guys had a great day of paintball. Uh, by the way, Lisa Weber, s and That's for me. Just a little salt and pepper on my steak. Three minutes on each side. Thank you very much. Uh, Brian Foster is saying hi to Garvin, but nobody else. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, Charles Holton said, I played today as well. Very strange. I, I guess it was, the only thing strange was the fact that we were, we there was the aura in the air where you just knew you had to stay away from people. Um, and that you were wearing a mask. Otherwise, that's it. Every, nothing really else changed. Everybody's spirits were high. Um, yeah, it was good. Colter Wheeler says he was just happy to get out and play. I think people that he's been quarantined with were just happy that he got out. Um, and I'd like to thank Colter for coming over to say hi to us, even though it's a pandemic. Don't be <laughs> afraid, Colter. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was a it was a great day at, at the field. Yeah. Um, Lisa Weaver says pork chops tonight. You know what? It actually doesn't matter. Pork chops, uh, you can always overcook pork chops and they're dry. I hate it. I want them slightly undercooked, just like a steak. You want them kind of medium. Yeah, yeah. Zane Smith says hi to Todd and Joe. Screw Gavin. Nice. Hey, Zaniac. Screw you. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. So, guys, the link is in the live chat at the top. Uh, I also posted it a few minutes ago, too. So, if you want to go in the, the description of the video, you guys can click on that. Use your first and last name when you sign in, just so that I know who it is. Um, if you want to sign in as Brandy, uh, go ahead. You just won't get on the show, unfortunately. Oh, Brandy, <laughs> you kissing. Yeah. Uh, and that's just how it is. Let's bring in one guy right now just to see if we can get this to work here. And hopefully Josh will be joining us very shortly as well. Hey, we have Timmy from Hunter Valley Paintball Australia. G'day, g'day. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, Australia? <laughs> Certainly did. <laughs> Certainly did. Australia. You're such a Damn patient that. fellow. Hey, what do you, what else do you want me to do? I, I just get on the show and torment you guys to the best of my ability. Well, we're going to put this week a little bit of soft music on in the background. Something that you can dance to. And then we're just going to see what happens from there. Bugs are bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll see your chili bins. Um, uh, chili, chili bins, yes. <laughs> so, um, so we yeah, opened this weekend, Tim. We had some paintball players at our field. How how are things with you in Australia? Are, are you you doing your thing? Or yeah, yeah, I'm I'm on fire. Actually, I went out there. You and can't say that because <laughs> not in Australia. No, that's bad. didn't they put those out a while ago? With your help from your plane, yeah. <laughs> Set your bombers over. And, and our firefighters, are. we wanted to save all the joeys. Yeah, yeah, plenty of those. But the more fire you fight, uh, light, the more joeys are burned. That's so true. everything goes up when yeah. you put a back burn in. So, yeah, I did me 15 years of the bushy down here and 38 years with SES. Yeah. Four years, and I've got my... My own. Somebody <laughs> cut you, dude. <laughs> uh, it's all good. So Tim. I went out to paintball yesterday and set up, and I had the day wrong. They were coming in next Saturday. So what do you do? Yeah. COVID. Yeah. <laughs> I have some bad news, Tim. Because we are now open at our local field, this will be the last Saturday night show for a while. Because if you look into Joe and Gavin in my eyes, you can see the bags and tiredness we had. Like, we're out of practice. Um, and then rushing home and getting cleaned and stuff and then having a show, it's it's kind of difficult. So we're this might be the last one for a little while on Saturdays. But we've all had such a good time on it. Once we get back into the groove, I think we might do a couple again. Yeah, I think we can probably do a monthly Saturday night show or something yeah. like that. I don't, I don't, this won't, this won't be saturday nights forever but i think um we'll probably be able to we'll probably be able, be able to do some more once we get sort of um once we get into groove a rhythm yeah yeah a rhythm yeah we know there's I, not going to be any events coming up anytime soon so it's just a matter of kind of maintaining and developing 
the field and making sure that we're 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 able to you know continue to run right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, no, I know. I figured you were gonna pull the pin on it. You look a bit tired, <laughs> run down, old and haggard. Thanks. <laughs> welcome to welcome to my world. <laughs> you get to be my age, Tim. Then you you start to show your age. Well, we can't be around you too much longer because you know how couples that have been around each other for so long start to look out like each other. We feel like we're kind of looking haggard like you, and it's 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 taking its toll on our. I have that effect. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a wart. I'll grow on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been picking and picking, but it's not falling off. So so I'm you're just... so you're busy, you say? No, no, I'm not busy. The, the phone's ringing. Um, um, but it was funny. I had a I had a private court number ring me at six o'clock Saturday morning. And um, said, is, is this paintballing? And I've just gone, are you serious? Are you really serious? It's 6 a.m. in the morning. And then she turned. She said, you don't have to be effing like that. And I hung up on it. <laughs> I just, yeah, you know, three hours before I go to work. And here she's ringing. So you know, what you're saying is you're not a morning person. Oh, I'm a morning person. I'm just not a customer morning person. So <laughs> somebody else should be answering the phone is what you're saying, right, Tim? <laughs> Well, with what's been going on, I thought it was a security company. That's why I answered. Right, 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 right. And um, and no, it was just somebody wanting to chase paintball. But she said paintballing, so I figured it might have been looking for another paintball field. Yeah. So it didn't matter. We had a so, we question had a, for you. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm curious about, you know, as you're rebuilding your field again um, with a customer base, are, have you changed your marketing approach at all? Or what are you doing to uh, let people know you're, you're back in business again? <clears throat> Well, I've, I've thrown up on the Facebook. Um, I've just got to sort out the Google ads because they're the only ones that, that really work now. You know, with the, the old yellow pages phone book that we used to have, you know, that's way gone. Everything's social media. So um, I just need to work on the, the Google ads. It's probably the same as you guys. We didn't have yellow pages. We had canary pages. Canary pages. Yeah, sli- you know, slightly you know, different t- yellow. You know, Tim, at one point, we were we were in 23 different yellow page directories in, in southwestern ontario so we were in 23 anything from south just south of toronto to hamilton to london all these little small outlying areas we used to be in 23 yellow page directories at one time now now it's a non-existent form of advertising and it used to be the only form of advertising that really worked now, now you know, people don't even know what a yellow page is. No, yeah. well, that's how thick, that's how thick it is now. That's a new one, right? But that oh. used to be that used to be double the size. I know. So we used to like, and when the if the coppers were pulling you over, like the joke was, no, 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 don't worry, I'll bring my own phone book because that's what they used to do <laughs> to with the phone book. It yeah, because it wouldn't leave any bruises. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so, phone book. We walk into the cop shop. So right now, Tim, I'm thinking that is a wonderful resource uh, to level your table. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your patio, right? So yeah. it's uh, they've done quite well for you. Yeah, they keep sending them out. Um, have been known to wrestle around and get a drunken um, party a night of, uh, at a motel and, and break the legs off the bed that we propped it up with a couple of phone books from a few other rooms and then left. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. You guys were running around with masks, like um, surgical masks. masks No, just in the staging area. So as soon as they go on the playing field, they they swap them. That's serious. Okay. Yes, but we're allowed to be open. Yeah. Oh, exactly. There's a huge trade-off there, and I'll be honest. The guys that came out were just happy to be out. And I mean, you could have told them that they could also only use one of their legs and they had to hop around on one foot all day and they would have done that too because they just wanted to play. I mean, it's, I mean, let's be honest. When was the last time you could do, you know, with this pandemic, you couldn't do it. You can't do anything fun. You can't go to the movies, can't go out for a dinner at a restaurant, can't play paintball. You know, our shooting ranges finally just opened again. So, I mean, it's, it's been pretty bleak for the last three months. Yeah, it's been boring because you can't even go and throw rocks on the neighbors' roofs because they can't come out and chase you. <laughs> like, that's true. <laughs> what kind of life do you live? <laughs> oh, mine. 
So I, I believe that. I believe the term in North America is shit to server, so I'm not sure if that translates well in Australia. In, in Australia, it's a rock tosser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stirrer is the word. Shit stirrer. Yeah. That's a genre of uh, film too. Rock tosser. <sighs> I um, I like I've had my business for 30 years, and uh, I just got that tosser. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> bit late, bit late. Um, but I had um before we shut down we were spraying the goggles with a uh, antibacterial spray and it put a smell into the goggles and but so rinsed them out but i had a, a gentleman play last week and he had a a reaction on his cheek from the the disinfectant that was sprayed on the goggles and that's the first one i've had in 30 years of playing paintball with someone so um, you know, I don't know whether this, the disinfectant is, is all that good for goggles. I don't know, but leave them sitting for a week out in the air, dries them. I'm not sure. Appar- so, apparently, apparently, Tim, plain soap and water just it kills the bacteria. It's a, it's a fatty, COVID-19 is a fatty cell or fatty tissue, and just plain soap and water breaks it down. And they're also finding out that it doesn't live that long on surfaces as people originally thought. So, nah, nah. you know, probably soap and water with a, spri- a spritz of something, some food. You're Jewish all of a sudden? A spritz? <laughs> I saw Miller today. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to put some vodka in that? Yeah, spritz. <laughs> spritz for my Ritz. Yeah. So That's what Gavin drinks drink when he goes out to the pub, white wine spritzers. Yes, yes. That's my drink. <laughs> well, when they're, all out, when they're all at Azima, you got to have something, right? What's that when so, they do a oh, Catalina wine mixer? Uh. <laughs> so, Catalina wine mixer. Catalina wine mixer. Well, that's what we had today. It was uh, it was wonderful to see paintball players who were very enthusiastic about being back out again. And as Joe and Todd mentioned, it was nice to have people who were understanding and tolerant of the global situation, right? So that they put their patient pants on. They understood that things were going to run a little differently but just grateful to be out. And I'm really hoping that uh, we have more support just like that for every field around the world, uh, recognizing that uh, fields are in the rebuild mode and have to adhere to different uh, policies and procedures and protocols based on the uh, the region they're in. Uh, so it's not going to be the same, potentially, uh, where you are. So just be aware that you're supporting small businesses, you're keeping paintball alive, and you get to go out and you can shoot people again, right? So just uh, yeah. be, put your patient pants on and just recognize that things are going to take a little while to get back to normal. So uh, we're grateful for everybody with their positive attitudes uh, who support local fields and keep this word alive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ponage PB in the live chat says, just sub to your YouTube channel. Had no idea you even had one. Yeah, there was a while where we were actually streaming to Facebook as well or to, to YouTube as well, but... When we're doing Zoom and YouTube and Facebook at the same time, it tends to chew a lot of bandwidth. So right now, we're while we're still doing Zoom, I think we're going to stay away from YouTube. But we also need to put out some more YouTube content. We haven't done that in a while, but there's a lot of good stuff out there if you uh, if you want to check out our channel. But uh, yeah, sorry I've been slow on bringing people into the show, guys. If you want to be on, uh, just click that link and put your first and last name in, and we'll try to get to it in just a minute. But because this might be the last time we get to talk to Timmy, thank God. For the next little while, this is uh, we want to we want to ha- at least have an opportunity. Um, you have a lot of strange people walking around the back of your uh, throughout your house. That's my social worker. She's my carer. Uh, nice. Her community service. So yeah. she's coming to flip you over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll me over. Had the bed sores day and eight. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. I'm curious. Uh, is it time for a diaper change or our uh, nappy change? <laughs> <laughs> we, we call them depends. It depends whether it works or it doesn't. Yeah. So, uh, but you, so um, see, we're going into winter down here, and you're going into summer. So, um, yeah, June is really a quiet month for us. So August will be the start of where we should start to pick up because it goes into a warmer months and then all the weddings and everything else. So, um, but at the moment, a little bit quiet. Mossy had a big weekend last weekend. I don't know what he had this weekend, but. Um, but, uh, what, would, yeah. what would be a big weekend for him, number of players? Um, 150, 200 people for the weekend. <clears throat> yeah, those days are gone for me. Um, that was back in the 07 to 011 where I'd have 180 people a day. But why, what do you attribute wow. that to? 
um, we're getting softer. The video games are getting more um, technical, more yeah. realistic. Yeah. Uh, and nobody wants to get any bruises, no. So, so we've got to bring we've got to bring back the cane in school so they can all get a flogging. Nice. Yes. Or we, issue phone yeah. books with their uh, rental packages. Phone book. I'm writing that down. <laughs> but having said that, having said that, Tim, uh, so we saw a decline too in North America uh, because of the video video game generation. But with the advent of, of uh, MagFed in Australia, you may have a, tr- uh, a, a <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, you may have some people who have uh, played Call of Duty, played all these first-person shooters online, who now want the real experience. So you may see a resurgence. Uh, in uh, in your customer base, if it's experience based versus just sort of paintball uh, marketed as well. Yeah. With the the mag feds that are coming in, exactly. There's a there is a lot of interest in the mag feds because they're not going to be it's not going to be spending as much uh, wasting a lot of, of paintballs is going to bring it back to a more strategic. And I think um, the airsoft uh, players have been waiting for something like this to happen because now that the mag fed paintball guns, then they can go into the airsoft as well, and that would probably be a big resurgence in the in the industry. Um, to for that, but you know, um, I'm hoping that we'll go like same as you guys. You've still got the uh, the paintball players and and that do both uh, enjoy playing both. Um, you know, the airsoft doesn't give you that wealth, but uh, yeah, you got to have that wealth so you know you've gone too far and you don't stick your head out as much. Um, now, this is not an airsoft show, but I'm curious about how airsoft plays you. out uh, in, in Australia with uh, okay. your tight restrictions. See, we the all the airsoft guns are all marked off a. I'm not going to do it. Um, <laughs> are, are all marketed off the M4 and exactly uh, designed off the M4, but you've got the gel blasters that are coming into Australia now, and they're all plastic with the plastic gearboxes, and they're virtually the um, the airsoft gun, the mechanism. It's just the gel blaster instead of the BB. Um, New South Wales, they're not legal. They're legal in Queensland, uh, as in the states of Australia. Um, but with, with that, uh, it won't take long before they'll start to use that. We've got mag-fed paintball guns, why can't they have mag-fed um, airsoft? But it's the, the, the type of the gun that they're looking at. And if, if Airsoft made the guns um, a little bit different to um, looking like an M4, then that may open the avenue for Airsoft to come in New South Wales. Um, but it's only going to take one stupid person to drive around or do something stupid with a, with a marker and, and it's going to put us all back, you know, back 20 years. Yeah. So, um, and we all know that. <clears throat> yeah. Tim? question um th- you said you're coming into your winter your winter now in australia which we we know you're six months or our seasons are flip-flop what what is what what's the temperature in australia is in the winter what does it like the, how cold does it get typically where i am it can get down to two degrees uh celsius now that's i don't know what that is in fahrenheit but that doesn't that, matter we're in canada we're in canada we you know i can oh, okay. show my money has a picture of the queen you know Oh, get out of town. It's true. Really? Our money, yes. Oh, yeah. It, we're, we're not in the States. We're in Canada. We have, like, red and shit in our flag and the queens and all the things. So I know what a Celsius <laughs> is and, and a kilometer is. I know what all that is. So yeah. I, 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 I'm okay. Um, so, yeah, we get down to, to one. Where I am on the cold, you get a westerly overnight in the clear sky. But at the moment, we're sitting around nines um, of a night time. And uh, around 15 to 17 of the day. That's so, perfect but, paintball weather. Oh, yeah. it is. It is. But yeah. they've um, now that the bit of cold weather hits and they all want to run inside, and plus the COVID, so everyone's been inside doing nothing and they're nice and warm and cozy. And, and they've finished doing all their home maintenance that the wives have put the 20 pages of uh, list to do things. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I was hoping that they may have been all busting to get out, but I've had, I've had a few inquiries. So, but I've no paintball this weekend. There are there is paintball next weekend. Um, so yeah, we we'll just get the, the phone kicking off again, and um, uh, hopefully all be good. Yeah, what about yeah. uh, so you guys? Have, what's your daily temperature up there now? We we were I don't know we were we were twenty four today with sun and it was it was pretty it was cool in the morning it was six degrees, 
but it was 24 degrees. Last week we were in the in the mid 30s, several days. It was pretty hot, and then our nighttime temperature when th- those days was around probably 20. That's degrees yeah. Celsius. I can put it into Fahrenheit if you'd like. What's that? 65, 70, or something? Uh, you to get the dub- you double it and add 32. Ah, oh, okay. And then take away Fahrenheit. six. <laughs> Carry the seven. No, <laughs> yeah. Fifteen and fifteen is fifteen. Fifteen degrees is thirty. Sixty-two. Yeah. Ned Nella asks a good has a good point. He says, "Where's Zuby? You're talking airsoft." Yeah, we got to sneak in when Josh isn't on the show. Uh, Josh is uh, unfortunately. Hopefully, he'll join us uh, at some point tonight. Charles wants to know if this is a ref jacket. Uh, no, it's just a hoodie that I that I grabbed. Unfortunately, it's oh. a little obnoxious, but. Uh, I knew Tim was going to wear blue tonight, so I wanted to not not be in not be in the same outfit. It matches me eyes, yeah. <laughs> after after you get a headbutt, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I uh, mean, it's, it's um, yeah. I've, I'm I'm hoping that you guys are going to you know, go go to more than one show a month. We need the Sundays because Sundays I'm not really busy. Saturdays I am. Yeah. Oh, let me. Oh, we can we can adjust our schedule to accommodate you if you'd like. You know, it's, it's fine. That'd be nice. That'd <laughs> be nice. Yeah. So you're the. So hang on, two more. We got the Brady bunch. Three more. <laughs> so, uh, so Tim, before I say uh, hello to everybody else, uh, one of the things I've been really grateful for for this quarantine, and there's been a few and far between things that I'm grateful for, uh, was really an ability to connect with you. Uh, the other side of the world for us, uh, and it's wonderful to see what's going on in the world of paintball uh, around uh, the globe and uh, that we're all, that's our common thread and our common bond together. So regardless of where we are on this planet, we all have a love of this game and it was wonderful to connect with you. And I know that, you know, we may do less Saturday shows, but if we do any Saturday shows, we certainly want you to be a part of that. So. Absolutely. You, you joined in, you were, you were watching Monday night as well, weren't you? We saw. I had a squiggly at his, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, squiggly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a look. Yeah. So, um, yes, and, and it, it's all started to get a bit too technical. Big words, playing amongst yourselves. Looked boring to me. <laughs> you, needed, you needed some abusive people sitting on the on the page. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, we have a CRTC here that regulates our content. And they said there was way too much Aussie content, way too much Aussie way too much. The roof. Yeah. Way too much. So we have to scale it back. So I appreciate you uh, cutting the rest of your deadbeats and uh, <laughs> just you joining us tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we appreciate your, your contributions from uh, the land of Oz. For sure. You got Eric. Queen. Eric and... loved it that much that he, he, he imported one. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Yes. And uh, you want it back? <laughs> Eric, nah, your, nah. your your microphone sounds pretty uh, pretty sassy there. Oh, let me let me get it away from my face. Uh, no, no, bring it a little closer. Better? You're a little quieter than everybody else, anyways. Okay. But welcome yeah. to the show. We haven't had you on a behind the bunker since Paintball Ever. Extravaganza <laughs> two years ago. It, yeah, it's been that long. It's been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What are you up to these days? Have you are, are, are you working on the dilithium crystals? Are you? Are you uh, busy doing more custom stuff? Uh, actually, you know, with COVID, costume stuff is is uh, on the way, you know, way of the dinosaur at the moment. Um, but we're uh, we got something hopefully, hopefully coming on in September. But I've been uh, working on a paintball gun, hopefully for 2021, one of my own. Nice. Um, and uh, fold a gap since I'm one of the, the three promoters there has been taking all of my extra time. <laughs> so, and do you think full the gap is gonna, gonna happen? Yeah. I guess it's a November game. It's a no, well, airsoft is in October. Okay. Um, smaller game. And then November is, is the bigger game. And we think so. Uh, of course, there's always the caveat that, you know, we have a, a resurgence of COVID and we have to cancel. So yes. there's, there is that yeah, yeah. disclaimer on everything. <laughs> That's true. I know that I know they moved the, the Republican national convention from um, South Carolina to, to Florida because uh, in August, because the, 
they wanted to do it in South Carolina with smaller numbers. <laughs> and the other the guy the other the guy in charge said no, I don't want it. Yeah. So I know they moved it to Florida where it's more of a free for all. Yeah, it's a it's a political thing, but politics you know there's enough politics and paintball as it is no (laughs) yeah yeah. Uh, before this goes down the chat too far chris chica estrada my new favorite name says who plays with the 12 volt revy view loader still i think most of us have those i still have one gavin you you still use yours I do not mind the broken so Oh, Marvin, Gavin, I, I, I have, I some, know, I I have something balls. we can talk about. I know, and uh, I was, I was asking you, uh, Joseph, if you had any 9-volt uh, Rebby still. I will look Just and see. Say, yeah, if you have the original 9-volt Rebby, I would certainly steal one from you. I think Are... I have one. <laughs> Now you're just rubbing it in, Eric, with all your goods. <laughs> but, I, but I have one of the original ones, Eric, when they were made in Texas. Well, with the good plastic or the with bad the plastic? With the good plastic. You could drive a truck over the plastic. <laughs> nice. Very in nice. The white, in the white box, still in their boxes. Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Jeez. I'll Charles Holton picture. said he used two today. Both 9 volt. Good for you. Good for you, Mr. Holton. These people are lying just to make me feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Neb Nell says it's his backup. I I think they're fantastic. Um, I think they're fantastic loaders and, and, and still hold up today, especially if you're going to even compete in NXL or any of these other tournaments. You don't need anything faster than a Revy anyways because you're, you're stopping at 10.5. So... Are you hitting the NXL circuit this year, Eric? Is that that why we haven't seen you? Are you uh, putting in a couple teams? <laughs> no, no. Uh, I I stepped on a speedball field once in my life, and that was enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not for everybody. Okay. Uh, stand by. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was John. I thought that was John Amoda, or Amoda signing in. So I, I I clicked on John and I shouldn't have. I didn't realize it was John. But I wanted John. to hear the end of that song. John, <laughs> I know. I was, was waiting Reggie for the John. hook. I wanted to hear the hook. Eric, but I, I just have, I just yeah. sent messenger you some pictures. Oh, well, I'll yeah. have to go look. Yeah, okay. don't open it. Uh, <laughs> there's, a of, <laughs> there's a bunch. There's a bunch of you guys. <laughs> Sorry, there's a bunch of you guys in the waiting uh, room right now trying to get in. I don't recognize some of your names, so I'm not letting them in. Uh, if it just says iPhone, I can't do it. I just want to make sure it's whoever that's in there. So if you guys sign in through um, Zoom, use your first and last name. Um, and don't use triple X because that's certainly not going to get you in either. Keep killing people are trying that. <laughs> and although I'm tempted and maybe a little curious... I just I don't think I can uh, I don't think I can let you guys in right now. It's because my real name is Bag of Chips, right? A tube of hey, Pringles. Hey, Wayne, how are you? I just <laughs> saw hey, you. <laughs> Bag of Chips. <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you though, Bag of Chips. One of the speedball kids today brought out a big bag of potato chips and cracked it open in front of me, and I nearly asked him for some. And then I looked at him and go, "Oh, did you bring that because you know you can't share?" And he's like, "Kinda." He goes, he goes, normally I can't bring anything before because everyone will get into it. And there's another kid that brought a big... And they don't make normal ba noises. They just natter at you with like an Australian accent. They grunt. They grunt. One of the consistent comments I heard today uh, from all of the people who played, there was a lot of gunning, but not a whole lot of running. Uh, no. COVID certainly uh, impacted the cardio, and it was a slower-paced game. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Like, a lot of love shots. Yes. Love yeah, and there was a lot of time between games, especially in the afternoon. People were really starting to slow down. Just give me a couple <laughs> minutes. Can we? We're good for ten minute break right now. Yeah, I asked the ref for a long five minute break. <laughs> <laughs> Even the gentlemen who were not playing Magped were like, "We got to load our mags." <laughs> Here he is beyond the container. But I watched Dwayne walk from his car to the staging area, and then he had to take a break. <laughs> and that was in the morning before he played. I saw that. Don't think I wasn't watching. He had to stop halfway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 feet away. 
There, yeah. there's some there's some pictures up there. We had two photographers out today taking pictures. We had Matt Vloden and we had um call uh Colin Gregg was that was out today as well. Colin Craig, so he'll have some pictures up. So there'll there'll be some good images up. Um, Matt Vloden didn't share them to the Facebook page. I had messaged him so I could share them to the Flag Raider page. So we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. So yeah. we probably need to start bringing some ambulances out onto the fields. <laughs> paint them up and have, yeah. instead of having a siren have them play the Mr. Whippy music like green sleeves or something as they drive through <laughs> I'd, say paramedics. I'd be happy for an ice cream truck on the field right now I mean, that's, that's, a, that's yeah. Mr. Whippy yeah. uh, that's yeah. the equivalent to our Dickie D so they have uh, a truck uh, but we have the guys with the bicycles twing twing <laughs> <laughs> but no, an ice cream no. truck no matter how tired the old guys are they'll get up for an ice cream truck Ice nothing cream. Like, nothing like watching them pour the soft serve and their tongues going around their mouth when they're twirling it around to get it to go into the cane. Like, <laughs> Joe, why did you eat the ice cream off the floor? That wasn't an image I needed. Uh, thanks. <laughs> no, that was a little bit way too much disclosure from you, Tim. <laughs> Dirty old man. Yeah. And then sneeze on it. You want it? Yeah, exactly. So... Oh, so <laughs> yeah, went down. Move on. <laughs> Move on. Yeah. So thank you guys for joining in. And Eric, like, we haven't had an opportunity to chat with you for for quite some time. Like, I, I don't, I don't see a lot of you on social media these days. Are you still busy, busy, or how how's well, things like, in your world? Um, busy. I mean, my life didn't change because of COVID. Forty hour a week job plus. So sometimes 50 hours, so that's that gets in the way. What I hear is complaining. <laughs> no, I have a paycheck. I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, but then paintball stuff, um, testing a, uh, some, some stuff I can't talk about at the moment that fires nerfs. Um, well, let's talk about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just expect by shot. expect by full to one of the uh, Nerf manufacturers to have their a new Nerf launcher out. So wow, that's playing cool. With that. Yep. So um, so I will definitely want to come to Fulda to be shot with the Nerf rocket. There's enough Nerf rockets that if you want, we can arrange that somebody <laughs> will shoot you. Just saying. Sure. I, I, I can put out a we could we could put out a bounty. Yeah, you know, I love everything about Fulda. I just the Nerf things are still. I find them if the, if they're for tanks, absolutely. But if they're taking out a building that I'm in, I just I don't like that. Understood. We are actually are changing some of the rules for that this year. I'm actually making Nerf hits on the bunkers take out a three foot radius around the building as well. Oh <laughs> no! <radius. laughs> oh, you're a yep. bastard. I guess everybody stacks up on the back side and you shoot the front. Nobody's in the building. Okay, we can fix that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So somehow are you getting kicked back on Nerf rockets? Is that what this is all about? Not at all. No, not not at all. It's uh, I like how, what it adds to the game. I really do. Yeah. It has to be refed judiciously, though. So Yeah. Not a man with a tight measure. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to burn a circle in the, in the ground around the bunkers so it'll be marked burn it nice. burn it or paint it we're probably going to burn it nice <laughs> and that Crazy. Case nice realism there's realism it's on fire hey we started bunkers on fire at d-day why not why not at folder <laughs> that's true <laughs> Guys, the star right? Here's someone we so, haven't seen in a while, Mr. Devin Schwartz. Sorry, Eric, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I uh, I just saw someone who joined in here, and I, I got excited. The Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the Schwarzenegger. There you go. Oh, oh don't encourage each other. <laughs> nice. Thank you for being on the show, my friend. Thanks for signing in. Well, it's been, uh, what, like two, three months you guys have been doing this Saturday thing? Yep. I figured it was about time. Well, and now that you've been on, we are going to officially say that this is the last Saturday night show we're going to do for a little while just because uh, our field's open now and Saturday nights are going to be a little bit hard for us to, to deal with. So uh, we're going to maybe try to do once a month when we know that we can gear up for it, but uh, we can't leave Timmy hanging. We like having him on the show and... 
I like having you guys on the show, so it's nice to nice to do this for sure. Um, I want to know. I've seen a couple of your videos, and I also seen that you have a custom shirt. Oh yeah, I definitely got a custom shirt. I gotta I gotta see some pictures right. or send a pic when 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 you get a chance. I I wanted to see that. That was awesome. Definitely. There's actually two of those shirts in existence. Oh. Oh, and thank you for sending the other one. Oh, no. <laughs> We're working on yours. We're going to make an extra special one just for you. Oh, no. I don't want to hear that. Uh, and medium. <laughs> as far as the very first edition, they're, they're a limited run. Nice. So I got one of two, and Rampage has got the other one. Mm. Richie okay, Rampage Todd, Santos. Glass? Yeah, he's the one who came up with the making the red and yellow behind the bunker logo. Nice. Uh, in answer to your question, Eric, it's Pims. It was Rye, but I switched over to Pims. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's acceptable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's oh, acceptable. Yeah. Oh well. But uh, so are, now, are you playing? You are playing because I've seen some of your live videos. How how are things at your field? Well, after. Not playing for about two and a half months, I kind of broke my normal routine, which is playing every other week or twice a month. I've actually played the last three weeks in a row, and I'm contemplating going tomorrow. My nephew's here. He's 17. He's been dying to try it out. That's reason enough for me. What the heck? Shooting. (laughs) Oh, boy. Tim, you sent me a couple of pics. I'm going to see if I can load them up for you, too. Oh, yeah, they're clean. And don't you don't have to turn the volume up on them. I just um, the, I was talking about the doing that gate and the so where they knocked over the big concrete blocks and whatever. So I built a new gate and we finished it yesterday. So if they're gonna try and break it now, they're gonna bust their car up real good. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, you gotta love Dewalt tools. Oh, is that a uh, throw out to some Dewalt? <laughs> <More sponsorship? laughs> Are you looking? For, are you looking for sponsorship? Because it's not going to happen from here. No, no, no. <laughs> we uh, there's there's, uh, there's no way they're going to be punching through those gates. That's no, sure. that's quite impressive, my friend. The only thing it's missing, and I don't know if it's there. Maybe you've already thought of it, but it's a little bit of a well, not a little, but some electricity. Oh no, we got solar. We're technological. No, yeah. but I mean, as far as like a little bit of jolt, jolt oh, going yeah. through there. Oh, yeah. We thought about putting razor oil on the top of it just to make it look cozy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good for you. Good uh, for you. But weren't you trying to move away from the terrorist organization listing that you had? Well, they only they were only counting 21 of them. So <laughs> if I stay above 21, then they're only looking for the 21 of them. So, um, but yes. Ah, oh, well. It just makes it purry. So, um... Um, yeah, anyway, that's my claim to fame for this week. Nice. Nice. Well, well, well done, but clearly it was an expense you didn't want to pay, right? It was uh, not, sort of, not sort of the cost of doing business, but uh, the cost of keeping the no-good nicks away, right? So, yeah, so yeah. Those no-good nicks. It's funny looking at your picture with your car on the left-hand side of the road because you guys drive on the same side of the road as they do in Britain because you're part of the Commonwealth, too. And I, I drive on any side of the road. There's nothing like driving in america or like down the um in um in america on in through um walmart and i'm on the wrong side of the lane and i'm looking at these people coming at me and get to go what are you doing dickhead move over and it's me i'm on the wrong side of the lane <laughs> that's true yeah. but now that you, you you can acknowledge it you're the dickhead oh exactly yeah. <laughs> if the boot fits Exactly. <laughs> but uh, whatever I go like in America or here, I just make sure that those double yellow lines are down the side of the car that I'm driving on because then I can't go wrong. So left or right, that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> How about paintball? Oh, it's left or right, doesn't matter. Australia from America. Either side of the bunker, either side of the container, you just lean out and shoot. Doesn't matter, left or right. <laughs> you allow all paint? All calibers, all colors. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we, yeah, we got colors. Are you allowed to say that? <laughs> it's not <laughs> offensive. It's fine. There's no band oh, color. Okay. Multiple colored paintballs are best. The, the worst paintball was the white one because that looked like a pelican had just dumped on you. <laughs> yeah. We use a lot of white because we, we have indoor facilities and they are white fill only. 
so we use a lot of that during the during the winter season but uh the only paint that i'm not a fan of and i know that people are going to disagree with me on this but i just don't like red fill i think that red fill fill. is is it's it's just scary when you're a field operator to see any red on anybody coming off the field and i get that red is it's cool and everything i just I, I, i just don't i just can't get past it it's it's scary it's scary to see it you know, yes. I was just gonna go look for that photo that I had where I got shot in the nose with a paintball when I was taking photos, and the claret running out in amongst the yellow paintball. See, Gavin uh, thought something happened to your nose, and we talked about it today. And I, you're right, Gavin. Yeah, I was. I was taking. Uh, can you refresh my memory? What I said? <laughs> you said, "What's with Tim's nose? You think something happened?" Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it matches the rest of the face. It was hit with a foam ball. <laughs> So, um, oh no, someone's got to lead the way. Yeah. Look good through that door. <clears throat> but, um, so, um, so Devin, here's a quick question. Your jersey, does it have a yeah. Behind the Bunker logo on it, or do we need to start looking at you guys getting some new jerseys? Oh, but it's got GI Sports. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. <laughs> awesome. And the banner does too, brother. Oh, look, look at that. that. Look at that. Good We're on you. fire. Thank you. Thank, you for see- and, thank you for your support. And we love control. Behind the Bunker. We've been following you guys for years. Well, that's Boys. awesome. That's awesome. Right. And you know what? Oh, some people... Devin, I was mentioning uh, your garden gnomes that you have on your page as well. Oh, those are at Rampage's house. He's got the, the true TK headquarters. <laughs> yeah, why... He started it for me. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you're watching and listening for so long, and I know some people are they they like to get hurt and they like the pain, you know. And 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 if that's what it is about this show, then then I appreciate that. But uh, thank you for being a loyal <laughs> loyal supporter for sure. And no problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't. I I, I hate to say it, but I'm exhausted today. Knocked the crap out of me. We've had three months of COVID comfort with. Lots of eating, no exercise, and then we go out to the field, and just after one day, it really knocks you on your ass. Like, I will sleep tonight. You're going to sleep real good. <laughs> <laughs> Why, when Tim sends me a, a picture, do I get... Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's, that's D-Day. The, the things you, you get up to at D-Day. But, uh, but Eric can vouch for that. Jeez, and my antics. People don't understand oh. it. Paintball Pete apologizes to everybody for me. This is why I need virus software on my computer, Timmy. <laughs> You're going to catch something. <laughs> yeah, and who is now? Who is that? Is that you, Timmy? Yeah, that was me and me festively plump Christmas outfit. Oh, um, but yeah, there's your plastic <laughs> bones in the boxes. <laughs> Oh. But, um, oh, that was a good year. That was a we had a good year that year. Yeah, your so, butt's gone downhill since then. Yeah, it's a bit of cellulite. <laughs> slappy, slappy, slappy. So, um... Now, Tim, how often do you guys travel uh, internationally for play? Me, D Day. Um, since 2011, I've been coming over to America to play D Day. Um, 2015 was a big year for me. That's when I did. Living Legends, went over to Denver, played there, and then back to D-Day. So I was in, in America for five weeks, and that gets a bit lonely, motel rooms and, and me fifth wheel around at D-Day, but, um, but oh, I enjoyed it. And uh, that was my first dose of airsoft as well. The other game was uh, before D-Day, and I played that one. So, um, But you know, it, was, it was good to, to travel around. I've been to Folder twice and uh, ruined the boys down there and educated them on dumb drunken Australians and as I said Pete, Pete apologises profusely for it but um, yeah and but we don't get the big games over here that you guys get um, people don't want to travel people don't want to buy their own gear and that's the biggest thing um, you know the, the mag fed may be the chains where people want that that more realism like the video games where there's, you know, there's only a limit around 20 rounds or whatever, then you'll pull that out and change your mag as opposed to 200 pellets and lob and whatever. Um, <clears throat> but um, 
Um, yeah. yeah. Who knows? Who knows? It, we we'll probably never be have the big games that you guys have. Um, but it's good to go over there and and uh, you know, Pete told me the first time I was there when you get shot, run. But <laughs> you know, and I'm standing there walking out because I was a bit lazy. And you're getting shot by 20 other people because they didn't see your arm up because of the trees. But you know, it's it's, it's education to um to the big game. Um, it's uh yeah, but it's just that yeah, there's a toilet to your left. Yeah. yeah. I have a question. I have a comment, Tim. Sometime in next in the next week or two, you we you and I can have a conversation on on Zoom or something. And I'll sort of explain. I, I can give you my take on Magfed versus Hopper Fed. Just you and I can have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's all good. Yeah. All right, all good. And, and I'm curious: has a game ever been attempted in Australia? We've had um, Steve run um, a big game from Hot Shot Paintball. Uh, there is one in Sydney that uh, a lot of people turn up to, but he puts the punts that the, throws the punters in um, to make up the numbers. But and the punters do their paint in, in, the, in the first few hours, and they're gone. So then the numbers are all struggling. Then, but people don't have a lot of their own guns, um, and they're just happy to come out, rent a gun, uh, throw the jumpsuit on shoot the billy out of whatever walks around, and then go out on the turf. So for those people that may not know, punters. Do punters uh, bring S keys and chili bins? What yeah, is a punter? Yeah, is a punter a rental? Customer, yeah. Yeah, yeah a punter. Okay. A, a repeat offender, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> As they come in. So um but yeah, that's that's the punters and, and Pete called it started calling them punters, so it's only come from there. Yeah. Um and and yeah, we weren't Australia wasn't big on, on people buying their own gear. Uh, you you're talking about what's the first you you, you go and try your goggles and and, and buy your goggles and that. In America, you guys are all wanting to buy your own goggles so you you don't go out, don't go out on the field. Here, they, no one's interested in buying their own goggles. They just want to rent them and, and scratch the crap out of them and get going. But a couple of years ago, crap? people would definitely buy their own equipment. But the last five to ten years, the newer generation, they don't buy stuff anymore. They, they'll, they'll happy to rent it and that's it. But, I mean, they don't they don't want anything they don't want to buy it and have it because they're only going to come out once a once a year if that um yeah, yeah. you know we were the consumer generation we're the ones that used to buy stuff oh exactly because you you just wanted to turn up with your own gear but there's nothing like watching someone with all their own gear turn up and uh sit at a trestle table a picnic table whatever you want to call them and that table is now covered in all of their gear that nobody else can sit at yeah, I like tre- oh, I, I like tress I like trestle table. That's wicked. Yeah, I drove trestle over a train table. trestle on the way here. Gonna... But Tim, does everybody want that guy on their team then? Um, oh, they all sit there and go. Oh, I don't want to play. I don't want to play against him. I want to be on his side because he's got all the gear. <laughs> yeah. and then you walk over and go. It doesn't matter about the gear. It's the person that's using it. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. But you don't know that as a noob. You know, as a noob, I wish I would have went and got myself a set of camouflage because then I would have been invited on everybody's team because people would have thought I knew what I was doing. You know, oh, he's got camouflage. He's got to be good. I want him on my team. <laughs> it, it's the same It's the same thing here, Tim. The number of equipment owners has dropped drastically in the last five or six years as as people are, are not, you know, buying. They, they, they want an experience, so they'll do things for an experience, and they won't. Um, it's the millennial generation. They they don't need to buy stuff. They just have an experience, and they yeah. they don't even need a whole day experience. They just need a couple hours. It's yeah. really what it boils down to. If you look at the number of players that go from playing all day to a half day or two or three hours, it's people are so busy. They have so much going on, and then it's like going to a movie. You know, you two or three hours for a movie. Even the, the NBA is looking at reducing the amount of time for an NBA game. Golf golfing's gone from you know. 18 holes to nine to nine holes. Um, Who watches golf? Pardon? Who watches? <laughs> no, not what. But people play golf. Like there, people. You know, people are looking for ways to make things quicker. Like we we play beer a hole. Beer a hole. Okay. Beer a hole. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's smacking that 18th one. I'm telling you. <laughs> what are your rental markers at Hunter Valley Paintball? 98. The Tipman 98. I've had. I started okay. with the. Sorry. Any upgrades? Response trigger, e-grip, anything like that? Uh, only going to the, the Planet Eclipse uh, 
the um, Ether 2s. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're the upgrades. Um, I've got a few of them that are playing up at the moment, so I need to find out what's what I'm doing yeah. wrong. Tim, um, Joe's got a good suggestion for you for your Model 98s as an upgrade. doesn't cost much and it'll make you a lot of money. We'll we'll talk we'll talk next week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. But it's a good idea. I know you're ex- I know you're excited and you won't be able to sleep until we have a conversation. <laughs> I like how Tim said that. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> worst <laughs> nightmare. Hey, uh, we're we're getting close to the end of the hour here, but I wanted to ask while we have uh, uh, Devin and, and Eric on, I, I kind of wanted to find out from them on, on on the state side, big games and scenario games. What are the latest kind of trends that you're seeing with the big games? Do you think that, okay, put COVID aside, if if that didn't happen, was this going to be the year for bigger and better big games, or are you finding it in a decline? It all depends on the game. I mean, I'm, I I was thinking, and we're still thinking, that Folda will be larger than years past, um, especially now that COVID happened, because everybody's going to want to get out. Um, the other games that uh, uh, that have been coming up, there's the the other bigger games that have just opened. They're seeing smaller numbers, at least in our area in the Carolinas, because uh, people aren't getting out yet. They just eat. They're almost afraid to get out, or they don't have the money. Yeah, Devin, what about you? Well, to be honest, big games are <laughs> subjects for me. I had all planned, laid out to go to EMR's 25th anniversary Castle Conquest. You know, it was going to be 25 cents admission. As long as you got a case of paint, it was going to be great. So now things have shuffled on and rescheduled. I'm planning on being a general for a scenario at Liberty Paintball in August, and that's still a go. New York has reopened up the parks and everything. I spoke to the owner at OSG yesterday, and I asked him in, in confidence before I got into a season pass for this year how many scenarios he'd be running he said there'd be three so that's going to be nice usually they like to slot them out about one every other month yeah so like four within the season so you figure three scenarios and if they do have to put a player cap it'll be about 150 the staging areas have changed drastically they've moved the picnic tables basically into the parking lot to allow more space in between the tables and When players move about the field, if it is a big game, they're obviously going to observe social distancing guidelines per their state and like groups of 10 walk, groups of 10, you know, and just try to keep it. We we don't want anybody to, you know, get sick. Yeah. We want to still have fun. Yeah. Um, At my local field, there hasn't been any big games, but as far as the rec ball goes, it's been fun. I can't wait for the first big game. I do believe if it's still a go, EMR. August eighth and ninth, there. That's where they moved the uh, the Castle Conquest. Game now, to. this is not a platform for promotion, Davin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just right now, yes, it is. <laughs> in June, I still don't know if like that's still going to be what it was. You know, like right yeah. now, as announced, that's what it's been moved to. It's been postponed to that date, but we don't know what's going to happen in July. You know, Murder Hornets just straight up disappeared. So. Anything no, happen. they're planning a surprise attack. They're regrouping. Oh, they're flanking us. Yeah, it's going to be like it's going to be like Pearl Harbor. Oh, I, I I hear they're going to come from the north from Canada this time. I just googled hey. it, and this is mating season right now. So they're 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 in their nests. They're horny hornets. Huh? They is are. <laughs> Jesus, Eric, <laughs> keep it at a clean show. <laughs> I hear it now. Um, <laughs> Um, hey, hey, Devin, I generaled my first game at Liberty. I missed that field. Yeah, and don't ask Eric why they won't have him back. It'll, it'll be my third time. Then, but there it, was a, is I'm the ahead. pond still there? Who's that? Is the pond still there? I did not see a pond when I went and did a, a walkthrough probably two weeks before this whole COVID lockdown started. Okay. I actually just the whole field. They have some old fire trucks, though. Really old. <laughs> fire trucks like in play on the field yep those are fun yeah there there was a pond there and uh yeah i i actually ended up swimming in it it was kind of fun but uh eric that was the porta potty and nobody had to <laughs> tell you yeah and stop going downstairs there's nothing to see down there <laughs> <laughs>
That's yeah. what she said. Yeah. Ski <laughs> <laughs> uh, ski resort, ski ridge, like uh, what is that thing called? A ski resort. Yeah. Uh, ski chairlifts. Chairlifts. <clears throat> yeah. Or or is that Timmy calls them lifties? Uh, lefties, all right. Uppity duppities. Uppity duppities. That's great, Tim. Thank you for playing along. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Now, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you're not wearing your sandals and toga, so I'm not going to refer to you in that. And I've only got three nails. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dwayne, Mr. Bag of Chips, does a big game excite you, or are you more of a just a weekend warrior? Uh, I love the big games. And I, I do like doing this little stuff like that today. It was nice uh, getting like uh, 10 on 10 and stuff like that. It was pretty nice today. Yeah. If anybody asked, it was always just 10 on 10. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's just supposed to be 10, I think. I don't know. It's open to interpretation. <laughs> oh, I, so 10. I said the magic number after all, didn't I? Yeah, you, you were perfect. Bang on. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But it's funny when, when, day camp, when day camps come out in... in in july the ministry the cohorts are eight eight including eight campers and then two counselors so that's that's how the day camps will be um billy keats in the live chat just says volcanoes erupting in yellowstone is that true and if so god damn 2020 what the hell are you doing to us it's total chaos ah i see what you did there (laughs) <laughs> you need to say Mwahaha, when you do that <laughs> one hundred thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i tried watching that with my uh with my 14 year old daughter she didn't think any of it was amusing and it does not stand up to the time i'm sorry to all of you that may like that movie but don't waste your time yeah uh, like back to the future too oh telling gavin today Ah, it's just cringeworthy. Make we your just daughter make... watch History of the World Part 1. There you go. I don't mind that one. That's a good movie, Eric. I don't know if you're saying you didn't like it, but I love it. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Did Eric? you did you okay. like my dilithium crystals comment by the way, Eric? Of course. Yeah. I I switched <laughs> my dilithium crystals with Folgers and no one noticed, so you're just going half fast now, that's all. <laughs> yes. Well, we're getting close to the... Well, we're past the end of the hour here, ladies and gentlemen. Should we keep going for a few more minutes, or should we... Uh... Sure. Yeah. It'd be nice to get rid of Eric, but we'll keep him for a while. How's uh, how's Midget, by the way? Midget's doing well. She's uh, surviving COVID. She went and sequestered herself for a month and a half, so... Um she could work from home so that was uh, was a good thing so she did that and uh she's working on her cosplays but she's coming out to uh try a new barrel on one of her custom guns and uh and go from there because she's getting ready for folda nice so she told you to beat it and she went and no, no 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 she's got her own place and so she just went went and hid in her underground bunker good for her good for her something doesn't surprise me that the anglers don't have an underground bunker <laughs> We might know people that do. Yeah, yeah. And they push that button and the whole wall slides open and there's a great big wall full of paintball guns. Oh, that's my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Here, I'm sorry, it's real guns. I just have to say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Eric, what do you think about paintball extravaganza in Dallas, possibly? Interesting. Um, better than it was where it was last year, that's for sure. Um I liked Memphis. Be... I just think that they they unfortunately unknowingly got a, a not the great location. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, you, yeah. you okay? So I'll take Rick's side for a second. When Rick goes to these hotels and he goes down, then the Chamber of Commerce brings them down. They're going to take the most direct route and have it and in the cleanest route, and they're going to have hotel staff. Everything's going to be perfect when they show them around. So how does how would he know? Like you kind of like, you got to explore the city yourself. Well, the city itself was fine. It's just the neighborhood, I guess. Yeah, the, the okay. tourist <laughs> trap area, like Beale Street, all that sort of tourist trap area was was brilliant. It's beautiful. Yeah. Where the location was, as uh, as Todd said, 
they can wine and dine and sort of put blinders on you. It was really, really sketchy. It yeah. was really challenging to be there. But in all honesty, when we, but when we, in Dallas, though, that's so, true. You, you know, but when we walked into that hotel, not. we were all like the hotel looked nice when we first got in. Everything looked great. None of us even had an inkling that there would be anything wrong. We got up the next morning, and that's when kind of things hit the fan. But I mean, it, everything looked promising. I thought, anyways. But anyways, Dallas, what do you think? Th- Dallas would be okay. Um, I Either way, we're... Vegas. I would much rather have Vegas than Dallas. If I oh, you wouldn't. Okay, but no offense. If you were in Vegas with paintball extravaganza, not one person would stay at the show longer than they needed to. At least if it's That's in a, an, a location where there's not so much else going on, people will at least stay schmooze, talk to their customers and reps, maybe take a couple courses. But if it's in Vegas, I'm doing paintball extravaganza in a half a day, and then I'm yeah. going to Bellagio, or I'm going somewhere I'm to... losing everything that I have. <laughs> that's that's true that's I, I never thought about it that way and yeah that's probably the same thing i do so yeah i get it <laughs> but you are right vegas would be fantastic that you is know? the paper's trip <laughs> we've got they hold the big um cement um truck conferences in vegas um and one of the mates he's got the line pumps here and he travels over there all the time for that yeah and um yeah, I can handle Vegas, but Dallas is is a, a fifteen hour direct Sydney to Dallas. I'm happy with that. But Tim, no, that's Tim going that... under the basis that you are invited. No, that's under the invite that I crash it. <laughs> like I crash everything. It, else. It, they first have to let you leave the country. <laughs> that's all. Now, Tim, is that something you would be interested in uh, pursuing? Like to well, to go to an extravagant? I, I yeah, I'd be interested in going to that. I, yeah. I reckon that would be interesting. I've never. Never been no, to any no, of no. Oh, hang on. Has it got to be professional? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> well, that's true. Sure oh, yeah. yeah. the, yeah. uh, the evening is quite different. So uh, we were chatting with people uh, at this extravaganza from Mexico. Um, it was in Brazil, I think, uh, sitting at our table, too. There was a number of people internationally. So it was wonderful to hear that perspective. And again, and I go back to you, Tim, uh, even about our, our Zoom meetings. Uh, that we chat here on a Saturday night, it's wonderful to hear about the sport of paintball around the world and then learning from each other as well, right? Yeah. Uh, what you're doing differently, regionally, uh, internationally as well, uh, and see what you can apply to your your uh, your own field. Uh, and I think Extravaganza is a wonderful place to do so, right? It brings like-minded people in the industry together uh, yeah. to with the same common goal about building the sport. Yeah. And, and yeah. to your comment about being professional, it may not seem like it, but when you go to extravaganza, everybody's wearing jacket and tie, just just so that you don't get there and you're embarrassed because you're, yeah. No, they're not. They're wearing hoodies him. and t-shirts. Give me a break. <laughs> no, I got a set of jump elites. I can put them on. I promise I won't start anything. <laughs> I've heard that before. Yeah, I know. It was a good movie too. <laughs> oh Have boy. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we should probably wrap this up. Oh, We've thanks. gone a little bit longer. Uh, sorry for the guys that are listening at home on our podcast. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. You st- stuck it out all the way till the end. And thank you to all the guys listening to our podcast on the regular. Um, I know we don't get a chance to talk much because you're listening to us after the show, not live. But we do appreciate all of you listening. And uh, if you ever want to communicate with the there show, just send us uh, a message. <laughs> Hold on, let me make this clear. Just send us a message, guys, and uh, let us know that you're watching and uh, what you like or uh, who you hate, like Tim on the show. There you go. <laughs> or Gavin, yeah. Um, so, uh, Mr. Schwartz, thank you for being on the program tonight. That was uh, It was nice to see you, and uh, we, we need John again at some point. <laughs> Thank you for having me, and anytime, man, anytime. You're getting heckled by a lot of people, especially some Santos. Um, so hopefully that doesn't dissuade you from coming back on again. I don't see any of the comments. All I can see is what's put on my screen. And right now, it's Todd answers. Nice. <laughs> it could be a lot worse, my friend. But let's put Gavin Sharma on the screen, Gavin. Uh, for once, thank you. Uh, finally, have some quality in the show, and we're ending it right now. Uh, but I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in this evening and everybody who's joining us in the Zoom. Uh, we certainly appreciate you guys supporting the show, supporting Paintball, and no, uh, wish you all the best from. as uh, the season unfolds and opens up for everybody. Yeah, yeah. And look look this weekend or on Monday Night Show, 
We're bringing back our producer for the first time in three months. So our show's going to look a little different. We're going to start slowly unveiling our new studio and production. So look for that on Monday as well. It's going to be a slow rollout on that. Um, And then as uh, we move out of stage two and into stage three, we're going to start seeing the likes of Joe in the studio. And then slowly we'll get Josh and uh, Gavin back in the studio as well. Yeah, yeah. Bag of chips. It was nice to see you at the field today. Yeah, it was great to do it, man. Very good. And uh, Billy Keats in the live chat says, another great show. He lies. Lies. Did anyone look to see if there is actually volcanoes are erupting at Yellowstone? I'm, taking I'm very curious now. And Eric I Engler. I haven't looked yet. And if they are, I don't want to know. <laughs> and Eric Engler, thank you for being on the show, sir. No, oh, thanks for having me, guys. It's it's good. I wish I could uh, be on on Mondays. I do try to to listen, but uh, things get busy. Yeah, no, it's nice. We like keeping you at our social distance. It's it's perfect. <laughs> I, I don't smell that bad <laughs> yet. And then Tim, thank you for being on the program, sir. It's always a pleasure. Uh, one of these days, we'll 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 see you in person, and really truly be let down. Oh, I know, I know. I can break everyone's heart. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And Joe uh, Kimson from Flaggers Paintball. Sorry, Tim, uh, I didn't mean to yeah, cut you off there. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in for the last uh, Saturday night. We can't use live, but Saturday night um, show. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get around to having another one soon once we get into a little bit of a routine. Um, Tim and his, his Australian cohorts are very excited about having uh, behind the bunker live from Australia one day. So they're, they're in negotiations with us to bring us there to do a live show. Just kidding. Next <laughs> next summer. Um, something, I don't know. No, I just kidding. I just threw that out there. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Everyone be safe, be well, and have some great paintball in the next um, coming coming days, weeks, months. And we'll see everybody Monday night live for um, some more of the same. Very good. Pew, pew. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So thanks, guys. And uh, thanks you for being on the show. Tim, we cut you off. And I think uh, due to our uh, sponsors and censors, that was probably a good thing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hundred really. percent. I just, I just looking at where Eric's sitting now, and that pot plant behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Christmas cactus. It really is. <laughs> well, whatever like you tell the ladies, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on Monday night. <laughs>